just leaving pine trees being be now. So if anyone happens to be around the north coast, you should check out pine trees, especially if you have dogs, because uh, she was ever, ever so helpful. Now let's put you in your cradle. And hopefully, hopefully, no, I don't think you can see me at all. Is that a bit better? Hello? <laughs> um, yeah, so check out Pine Trees B&B. She, Elaine, the girl who runs the place, was just lovely. And she's got a beautiful dog called Figaro. And he's 16 years old, quite a lazy old man. <laughs> well, lazy old dog. He's not a man, obviously. But uh, yeah, he just walks about the place and he's all just lazy and lovely. Um, so yeah, these guys had a great time. Wow, you're shaking. Um, these guys had a great time and I had a great time. And now we're headed home, but... I think we're gonna stop on the way home and um, visit Slemish. I haven't climbed Slemish in a long time. I think since I was a teenager. So, <laughs> um, and I know some of you are saying, yeah, but were you not like a teenager last week? But <laughs> no, um, yeah, I think it was at least a decade ago that I climbed Slemish, so. And that straight ahead is Slamish. <laughs> Slamish um, is a, a volcanic plug, so I'm told. And uh, whenever there was the eruptions in Iceland a few years ago, um, there was a whole thing going around Twitter about Slamish Watch because it might just erupt any moment. But uh, no, we're fairly safe. Um, Slamish, I also remember being affectionately termed, um, if affectionately is the right word, <laughs> as the nipple of Northern Ireland. Really, like, Northern Ireland is quite a hilly place. Um, however, Slemish sits in this relatively flat area. It just pops up out of the ground. And uh, as you can see, it's just sitting above a whole lot of other things. So, anyway, let's go climb the nipple of Northern Ireland. You know, the closer we get, the more daunted I feel. I can't remember it looking that tall whenever I climbed it as a teenager. Oh goodness. Yeah, I think this will tire me out more than the dogs. <laughs> it's so steep too. Only just out of the car and look at that view. You can see for miles. It's pretty incredible. Yes, yeah, so I think that we came from this direction. Um, way up at the coast. So way up there somewhere. But anyway, these boys are dying to get out now. Where are yous? Oh, let me out, let me out. Sheldon, I want to run around like a crazy thing again. Yesterday didn't tire me out enough, did it, Stewie? No. <laughs> and here we go. So it seems we've been walking around and then we'll maybe go up at a later stage, but I just wanted to tire these da dogs out and uh, they can't work out how to get over this wall. Whoop! Oh, go on, Sheldon, you almost had it. Come on, up! Up! Oh, good boy, Stewie. Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Oh, well done, Sheldon. Oh, we're losing our feet, are we? Come on, we need to help you. You're such an old dog, Stewie. Your foot's hanging down. <laughs> Shippy. All right, come down, try again. Come on. Come on, up. Come on, up. Up, up, up. Okay, let's stop filming and give you a hand. Oh, but Sheldon just jumps over the wall. Try that, Stewie. Come here. Here, look. Come on. Oh, Sheldon. I just lost a clump of fur. I bet you've got a cut. Right, come on, Stu. You did it, Stewie. Well done. No, yeah, I've just to do it. Oh, these are very thin. See what I mean by relatively flat? Yeah, it's still hilly, but this is a quite a sudden pop out of the ground for the land that's surrounding it. Oh goodness, these dogs are disgusting. They're loving the muddiness of this today. It's all marshy and gross. They've had a lot of variety the past two days then with all those beaches yesterday and lots of mud and dirt and rocks to climb. <laughs> Tell you what, this is a bit scary. <coughs> I, you've got four legs to balance, I've got two. And you've lower centre of gravity, so don't start. Oh. It's 
still a wee bit to go, but we're getting there. Oh, oh so close. Oh, man. My heart is thumping in my chest. Look, we can see over. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Let's go up this way, button. We can really see we've been at the very top. Down. <laughs> I have been telling myself, oh, be careful, little feet, where you go. <laughs> now, excuse my red, red face and my wow, <sighs> puffed out hair again. But, oh my goodness, it's quite slippy, quite rocky, and uh, you can lose your foot very easily going down here. So, be careful, little feet, where you go. Oh my goodness. But we're getting close, that's the car parked down there, so we're almost there. There would have been one really easy way to get down there, is just to throw myself down the hill. Mind you, I'm pretty sure that that would involve several broken bones, cuts, bruises, scrapes, general hospitalisation, so let's not do that. Well, that's us, all done. I'll see you in another decade, Slam Shang. <laughs> so we're home, and I had thought we'd all got home in one piece, including Herman, except Sheldon seems to be limping. Sheldon, come here. Come here, Shelley. Okay, that wasn't the best example of that. Hey, hey, hey. Still mad hyper, aren't you? Yeah, but he's not putting his weight on his front paw properly. Sit, Sheldon. Sit. Sit. He's sort of on his tippy toes there, instead of flat on his foot. Do you see the difference? And I've put him through his range of motion and he seems to be fine. It seems to be the his foot itself. Maybe he sprained his ankle or something while we were up and down the mountain. Yeah, you see that there? Yeah, per pop, eh? Yeah, but you had lots of fun and you're still full of life, so I'm sure you'll be all right. You'll survive another day, won't you? Hey, Sheldon. Limpy, limpy, limp. Doesn't wait until you're old and you're limping all the time, eh? So he's not putting weight in that paw there either. The workshop, where you can, you know, math finish, but you're, you know, your chopping board's can't get away from you. They also are a measuring guide, centimeters one side, inches the other. So if you were doing something like um, rolling out a marzipan or something, you know, for a fruitcake or any type of baking that needs to be quite precise, you can measure it on your board. <laughs> They're for cooking, but don't worry. Sure. <laughs> oh, anomaly? Well, that was just a wee bit of footage from uh, the Pampered Chef evening that I hosted tonight. So that was fun, and I was glad to invite some people around and uh, have my friend Lila do all the Pampered Chefy stuff, because Pampered Chef is pretty awesome. Anyway, I'm pretty tired. It's been a long couple of days. So I'm in bed. As you can probably tell, I'm not sure. I was supposed to have holding my iPad up so you could see me properly then. But anyway. Yeah, I am going to go to sleep. Because I have work tomorrow. And I will see you all then. Goodbye. <laughs>